Welcome everybody who's just joining. We're having a good time tonight playing the remake. There she is. There she is. The collapse of the plate means that many people in the slums are in desperate need of assistance. Once the party enters the Shinra building, they will no longer be able to help anyone in need. Therefore, try to help as many people as possible before entering Shinra HQ. This is it. Wow, guys. All right, so this is the bunch of side quests we can do now. I know we're short on time, but let's try to help out wherever we can. Man, I'm telling you that I love these sh scenes where it's Tifa Barrett. And like Cloud, honestly, he has no place like commenting on that. Like he's not even a part of that, right? So, all right, so where is that Curie person? I think they're gone now, but. Oh, there she is. This is the teacher who works at Honeybee. Yeah, Folia, that was her name. Oh, Cloud, have you seen the kids around by any chance? I haven't seen them since they left to do their patrols. I knew I should have told them to stay inside today. If you do happen to run into them somewhere, could you tell them to come back right away? I can describe them if it'd help. Don't worry. I'll know. Just stay calm and wait here. You never know. They might come back on their own. Okay? Uh, yes. Of course. Thank you so very much. I know exactly where these kids probably are. They're probably in their hideout, man. Cloud is more interesting than the OG, I think. He was pretty flat before, and I actually said, Yeah, I would say he's flat, Snyder, but they can just, they can do so much now with the expression and the performance and the voice, like, um, and just having a human form before it was, you know, just very limited. Uh, they're doing so much now. Oh, it's amazing. These guys. Oh, hey, Cloud. You're just in time. Guess what? Whack a box. It's not just oh a little God. kid's like game anymore. It's practice for the real deal. If you don't look out for yourself, no one else will. You know, whacking boxes wasn't training us for anything. So we decided what? to whack monsters instead. Wow, that sounds like a terrible idea. It is not. <laughs> We've all put up much better scores than you that. since we started. So why don't you try beating us before you talk? Hard mode? Right, let's go hard mode, whack a box. <laughs> Whatever the heck that means. It's like whack a mole. Jeez, was it just less time? I think maybe just rush. Oh, there's no time. Yeah. Yeah, we have to get this now. That's the thing. Here we go. Oh, that's broken. That's broken. I was able to get it without going through. Oh yeah. Okay. We're officially in business. Yeah! Okay, we're in business. I can actually do this. Oh my god. We can do it. We can do it. The dream. 30k, baby. Ow. Oh. Yeah, triple slash was it, man. Wow. There's no way we could ever top that. Soldier first Even class. Practice forever. Kid, you want to be champion? Yeah. You just got to keep working at it. Cloud with the real advice. That was really good advice by Cloud, too. Yes. I got a trophy, man. I got a trophy. I think I do want to platinum this game, guys. I have I've never platinumed the game in my life. I just want to make that clear. Never. I think I'm actually going to try and platinum this game because I'm just I'm just loving it so much. I've never I've never felt the I've never felt the urge to. 15, I thought would have been the game, but it like just just didn't uh what's the word? Like drive me insane enough, you know? We got Nobu's song playing. Man, it just hit me too. Like seeing these scenes when the final part of the Final Fantasy VII remake releases, just how epic this is all gonna be. Do you know what I mean? Like when it's all said and done, going back to see all of these epic scenes. You know what I mean? And that's what treating it, treating the story as different arcs. We're gonna just say three. I assume it's gonna be three games. I, it, it could be two. Um, but treating it like this, it brings so much more gravitas to having like an arc for this game. You know what I mean? It's such a more f complete story. All right, so I'm, lo I'm looking for the kids right now, but I don't know where they are. She's really cool. Like, there's so many cool characters. They feel like people, though. You know what I mean? They're not just like, hi, fine kids. <laughs> uh, they said three. Yeah, what do you think, Lula? Is, is that confirmed? Because I'd be, I'd be fine with three, honestly. At, at, the, at the quality this is, I'd be fine with three. Any more than three is too much, though. Because then you start to really stretch thin the story. 
There's only really one scene that I personally don't care for, but you haven't gotten there yet. No, oh, thank you. Thank you, Snyder. Thank you. Yeah, I still haven't beat it, so I don't know. I know everybody's talking about the ending, and I've avoided spoilers on it, so we'll see. I hope you will continue to help me gather vital information for my Thanks, research. kid. I know I completed some weird stuff. Okay. I think it's time we fought the fat chocobo. You guys ready? Stairs or elevator? So, I want to do both for sure. The stairs in the original game is funny, but not epic. So, we're going to bust in the front door, most likely, the first time. I'll save it right before, and we'll decide. But in the original, the stairs is like a, you know, play it again and get a, some jokes option, which I assume it is here, too. But I can't wait. I'm sure it's going to be crazy. All right, let's, let's fight Fat Chocobo, shall we? Let's fight him. Oh, my God. <laughs> so fat. <laughs> Oh my god, there's a big fat chocobo. I gotta go back to the Buster Sword. This was a huge mistake. What have I done? Did you just spit out garbage? What was that? What the heck? Wait, what? Is that his companion? I'm so confused. Oh my god, there is like a Moogle or something chilling. <laughs> what the heck, man? <laughs> it's hysterical. Fat chocobo is awesome. I already know he's gonna be OP. Luckily, he's fat. Oh, a bomb? Or a grenade? That's crazy. He's so fluffy. Yeah. He's so cute, though. Let's do his voice. Sounds like a dinosaur, dude. Staggered. We staggered the fat chocobo. I love how he's, like, not scary. Like, when I fought Shiva, it was really hard. <laughs> and it's just like, oh, fat chocobo. I could be wrong. Like, it's still early, but we just staggered him and we're wrecking him right now. It's music. Snorlax with feathers. Dude, he is Snorlax with feathers. You're so right. Lula says, just logically speaking, there were three discs, and we still have to get through the first part of the open world, and then the later half. Two more. I, I'm with you, Lula. I, I, think the, I think two more is perfect. I really don't hope they do more, because then they just have to create so much more. I, I just don't want them to lose the path of the original. They can create as much as they want within it, but I wouldn't want them to create like a whole other game sort of. You know what I mean? Uh, let's summon a freak. Which is just gonna be funny against this poor guy. Thank you for the gifted sub. I was working for the computer. Yeah, no, Lulu went. She was she was going hard, man. All the gifted subs. Absolute legend. What's he doing? What's he doing? Oh my god. Actually flying around like a lunatic? That's awesome. What a weird clash of titans we have here. A free versus fat chocobo. <laughs> It's so funny, man. Yeah, I love how it's like Final Fantasy X, how you can control him, too. It's, it's really cool, man. Are you throwing out Christmas ornaments? Is he actually? Dude, I wouldn't be surprised. He's just throwing out random garbage. Yo, Carbuncle just showed up. What is happening right now? <laughs> I'm so confused, dude. Carbuncle's here? Another summon? Okay, please take out the mini enemies with Hellfire. It's actual... Ca yeah, I have no idea what's going on. There's like... Beach balls and carbuncles there? Why is carbuncle chilling? That's what I'm trying to figure out. Yes. Okay. Limit break. Somersault. Get destroyed, Fat Chocobo. Get destroyed, son. Summon all your friends you want. It's not going to help you, man. Victory's mine. That was really close. That was a big gamble. I had to go limit break on him and ignore the bombs. And it worked. Thank you. Truly amazing work, Cloud. This is incontrovertible proof that the universe has a <laughs> sense of humor. Now that you have a fun new partner in Fat Chocobo, you can work together. <laughs> I love how Fat like Chocobo. The free said I wanted char broiled chicken. Yeah. That was hilarious. I love how it was just chaos. Like, it made it funny though. Like, what? I'm so, I'm still confused about Carbuncle, who's another summon? And Moogle was there and stuff? Like, what is going on? Right, we gotta find some of these kids, man. They are, uh. I don't know if they're like gone gone from this town. Or if they're in here. I still can't get over those scenes, man. I don't know if you've seen that, Lula. Have you seen the entire game? Because we saw some scenes that was actually incredible. Well, what am I Doctor. Do now? Hey, I know you. You're Eret's bodyguard. I could really use her help. She always knew where to find the best herbs, and you haven't seen her, have you? I used up all my meds treating people injured when the plate fell, you see. I could make more, but not without those herbs. So what do you need? You mean you're willing to help me out? 
Oh, thank you. She's dropping off on Cloud. Huge favor. Here's a list of everything I'm looking for. Doctor's list. Okay. Do we have it or not? That was awesome. I, I actually really enjoyed that box game. Is that lame? <laughs> it was really fun, man. Like, sometimes game mini games are like, okay, please just let me finish. But that's actually pretty fun. Man, can you imagine when the games are all done and it's that much expanded and it's like one overarching thing that you can play through? Like, oh, oh, oh guys. Can you imagine? Like, your stats carry over and stuff? It's going to be... I'm so curious to see if the next installment will be a standalone game or a DLC. Probably a standalone game, man. I don't see why they wouldn't. It's going to be so hype. Think about all the moments they can tease in the trailer, you know? The thing that, like, listen. The thing that they might do is... I think it would be really cool if they surprised us, if you know what I'm saying. And they, like, were just like, Oh, by the way, FF7 Part 2 coming, like, kind of out of nowhere. That would be really cool. Especially after all the hype is building for this and all the new fans are buying it and being like, Heh, What's this lame remake? It's probably, like, three hours long and being like, Oh, this is, like, the coolest thing ever. Okay, where's Part 2? So that's what I'm hoping. So I wonder where these kids are, man. I almost wonder if they're back here. But I haven't even seen one yet, which... It makes me think, oh, you know what? They might be back in that, like, in the back of the hideout. I'll check there. I'll check there. Doctor's herbs, though. I don't really know what to do. Let me let me look at the quest. Is it just a list of items? I wonder. Does the gym have other mini games yet? I think it probably does. I just haven't been there yet, Luba. I think it's going to have all kinds of crap to do. Because um, I imagine... I know we're going back to Wall Market to uh, confront Don Cornea, so... I can whip up alternatives with the writing. He doesn't tell me what I need. Though. There's got to be like an actual physical thing we get then. So we'll figure it out. Find it funny how people who never played the OG game consider it cheesy, but then they get emotionally hooked. The power of imagination. I love Lego. <laughs> yeah, hey, you're right. The items he needs are on the key item he gave you. Oh, they're on the key item. Gotcha. Check map. I'll do that too. So it's like a list that you can look at. All right, thanks for saying that. I was going to be stuck on that for a while. Doctor's List. A Moogle Mortar. Oh, Moogle Mortar. I already have that. A Behemoth Horn from the Underground Lab. What? Medicinal Flowers from Aerith. Behemoth Horn. I wonder if I have that. God, again, look at the detail in this, like, hallway. It's all unique stuff. Most likely at her house. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking. Let's see. I wonder if he's getting from the thing or, like... But yeah, it's kind of cool. Like, I kind of like how it's split up to just for the fact that like we're going to get to keep experiencing it. You know what I mean? It's kind of be a fun thing to look forward to. If you hear me, like over the next couple of years, I think it's gonna be kind of cool. Let's see what all Myra's up to. Take care oh, of my girl. Oh, oh Marley. <laughs> Don't worry. Good luck, you guys. I'll, I'll keep everyone everyone. safe. I love how Barrett's like, she's guys. tougher than me. What a beast. I'm gonna raid your house. Sorry. I want to know who's playing Marlene because it has to be a kid. The voice. Honestly, I. Yeah, it's it's incredible. It's like the best kid performance I've ever heard. So if it is an adult doing a kid voice, but I think it's probably an adult. Do you guys know? Uh, you guys, did you see my interview on YouTube with the voice of Ash Ketchum? Her name's Sarah, she's amazing. And I mean, dude, the voices she can do are insane. Like the children voices. Cause she has like a really high uh, pitch, like a really high tone she can play with. It's actually crazy, the voices she can do. So is it even an RPG if you don't loot everybody's house? That's a good point, that's old school RPG. I don't know, I don't think, uh, I, I don't know. I kind of raided the whole house, didn't find anything. Let's see, there was a little garden over here. But honestly, yeah, the voice is, it's so good, man. It's so good. I kind of think it, you're right. It might be a kid. Because it's just... Like, when you think about Marlene from Advent Children, it's like... It's pretty It's pretty bad. It's pretty cringe. I actually just watched the intro to Advent Children earlier today because I was, like, wanting to hear The Promised Land, that song. And I was like... Ooh. Like, it's, it's good, but it's clearly, like, a kid voice. You know what I mean? Being put on. Unless I'm wrong, but I'm pretty sure it is. This just sounds so good. It's like heartbreaking the way she talks. So, I don't know, let's move on. Because we can always go to Walmart and start tweaking around there, but I like the idea of finding the kids. So let's go to the kid hideout. Uh, yeah, they're probably back here, let's go look. 
Cause that it's a it's a big space back there. Let's go see. It's like a little mini dungeon. Gold saucer. Love has a chair there. Kids are awesome. Man. Watching you is super inspiring. Thanks for stopping the trash talk, Sarah. Next time, I want you to really go for it, okay? You gotta be back here, man. I'll just be empty. I don't know. Gotta love this track, though. I fig I figured out what transpired between Marlene and Aerith. There's a moment. When it's Yes! I'm actually really excited about that, Lula. And of course, don't tell me. Um, but I'm actually pretty excited for that. Pretty cool setup. You're not wrong. I read an article about alcohol is one of the few industries that continues to grow. Oh, definitely, dude. If anything, it probably almost does better in hard times, right? People are gonna drown their sorrows. That's actually the shame about sports. There's actually a really poignant thing. Uh, this game made me think of the other from Final Fantasy X. If you guys know that game? actually my favorite game. This is coming close though, we'll see how, how it finishes. But in uh, Final Fantasy X, after Sin attacks, they're just like, alright, we gotta play Blitzball, and Titus is like, how are you focusing on the game right now? With everything's going on, what's wrong with you guys? And he's like, now is when we have to focus on the game. People need us to be distracted from the horrors of the world. That's such a good point. They need something to focus on, man. Just focus on the game. Give some, take their mind off of everything. And uh, they said that in this game too. Andrea, the guy who runs the Honey Bee Inn, he was like, I gotta get the next show ready right away. When the play fell, he's like, people need need entertainment at times like this. And uh, it's so true. All right, I don't think there's any kids here, but it was worth uh, it was worth stopping by. A little drawing and stuff, cause that's a monster. I love that. Kids music playing, gotta love it, man. Hey, you, Cloud, right? Man, am I glad I caught you, Sam. Sam. He told me who you are. Said you're a merc and yep. a former soldier at that. Listen, I hate to ask, but you got a few runaway birds. Mind helping us find them? I got your back. Poor things were so startled by that plate coming down, they just up and bolted. I'm sure they're around here somewhere, frightened and hungry. <sighs> My poor birds. Worried about them, huh? All right, I think we can help you out. Oh, thank you. When you find them, them feed them this. There's three missing all told, and their names are Coco, Lolo, and Momo. They'll come on home once they got some food in their bellies. Good luck. I'm counting on y'all. Wow. Chocobo carriages will take you to destinations must fat. Oh, what? We can take chocobo carriages? <gasps> oh, it's like a fast travel. This is actually pretty sick. I was wondering that. I was like, man, am I have to run all over the place? Wall market during the day is going to be pretty cool, too. All right, so I kind of want to just go to Wall Market because, like, I don't know if there's anything to do right here. That's pretty sick. We can just hop in. Like, yeah, I don't think there's really anything in between. That's why I'm going to take the bird. So let's just try it, see, see what happens. Let's go to Wall Market. Three hundo? Ooh. Oh, that's actually really expensive. Holy crap, I only got 13k. That's a lot of money. Oh, yeah, yeah, but we're going to do it. Let's see. Why are these kids, though? Oh, cool. There's even an animation. Come on, let's ride. The music! They got Choco music in this game. I didn't expect it. Okay, that's cool. I love it. Have you checked on other weapons? I, I, I don't know where to check, Lua. I think I want to try and find someone uh, in Wall Market. I don't know them. Hey, if I find your birds, give me a discount, man. Curious how to deal with the open world aspect. The concept of a world map is something outdated concept. Oh, definitely. It's meant to show the scale when the game engine is limiting you. Yeah, so I think they're going to go like FF15, man. And I, I hope they do. That'd be really fun. Can you imagine? Wandering the wide world with the, with the party. Like, if they did it right... Like, just improve on FF15, which had, like, you know, some things that could have been polished up and made the world feel a little bit more alive and stuff. Like, this is gonna be amazing. Oh, there's Sam. Let's talk to him. Thanks for agreeing to find my bird. You're a real saint. Someone said they heard a chocobo walking in one of them Sector 5 back alleys. Heard there's a chocobo out by the Collapse Expressway. A chocobo was spotted near the old church. That's about all that's reached my ears. I'd bet good money those wandering birds are mine. Gotcha. I think they're gonna do it, man. Even if it's not like open, open world. Like, I guess 15 is open world, but kinda. 
You know what I mean? It's still like, I don't want it to be like a sandbox game. That'd be terrible. Where you just like wander around forever with no uh, real mission. But man, if they nail like the 15, FF12 ish, FF15 scenario and just like make it really good. Because that's what the original FF7 is, right? You wander around the world map, you discover cool stuff. And... But the problem is going to be like, like you were saying, is the part two and three. If they do part two and three, how are they gonna like cut off part of the world map and then have you go there in part three? Like, it's, there's a lot of questions that, that need answering. I guess what they would do is in part two, there's no airship, and then part three, you get the airship. That could make sense, actually. If I was them, I'd probably do something like that. What do you guys think, though? Um, let's just let's get let's get quests going. Because if we get all the side quests, then we'll be able to complete them all to get there. You know, all well, market during the day, man. Yeah, one of the funniest parts in the game was uh, when Tifa's like this, this, this outfit. This hair, this, and he's like, yeah, I nailed it. I got, or he's like, yeah, I know, nailed it. Moving on. That was so funny, man. That was gold. One of my favorite lines of the game. Oh, kid, kid, I think. Is that what that is? I think it's kid. It's Betty. It's Betty. What are you doing here? Hey, yeah. Betty. I'm Betty. so glad to see you're okay. You too. Uh, where's Marlene? Is she okay? Don't worry. She's safe. Yeah, Betty! We got music. That's a wonderful idea. Okay. If we find any music discs, we'll bring them straight to you. You just promised to crank up the volume, alright? You know I will. Alright, Betty! But you're so pretty. Did she say that? I thought that was Aerith. This kid gonna be a DJ. Oh yeah. So we, we have quite a bit. Alright, we gotta buy it. We gotta buy the song. Wait. How do we buy it? They don't have this. Who's this person? Oh no, what happened to her? What happened to her, man? Can we help? There's gotta be something. It's not alright. Need getting out. I ain't got long anyhow. Wow. That's a really nice touch, actually. This is like a refugee spot, it looks like. Yeah. It was there, yeah, I think so. Cloud is best girl. How would you feel about a 10 style? Exploring the world, but keeping it in segments. Oh, I'm also fine with that, yeah. I mean, to be honest, guys, that's pretty much what FF15 was, right? Kind of still in section. I mean, it was actually in sections. Like, you can't explore Duske and then also explore the desert area. Like, it's actually in sections. It has to load. I'm pretty sure. So, wait, these, these people have quests? Oh, I get it. We have to play music for them, right? Is that, the, is that what's happening? Wait, wait, wait. Let's talk to Betty again. Oh, okay. I think I get it. We just have to play the songs, probably, right? What happens if we play, play Prelude? Hmm. I don't think the ah, song's doing it. People still seem kind of sad. I'm still seeing a lot of frowns. So we have to just go through them. Bowing mission. How about Tifa? Tifa makes everybody happy, right? Now, it's got to be a rare one. You have to find new music for her to load on the jukebox. Okay, so she doesn't care about the ones I already have? Yeah, I don't think she's... <laughs> she doesn't seem to like any of them. I'm just waiting to see if there's like one that unlocks it. This is a new area, right? Yeah. The disc she wants will be highlighted. Okay, cool. Three specific tracks, two were mixtapes. Machine gun. Oh, yeah, I've never been here. I, mu I must have missed this or it wasn't open. Hey! Oh, two new weapons? Oh my god, dude. That's crazy. Alright, we gotta buy both. You know why. There's gonna be two uh, techniques. Wow, hard is really good. Mythos Saber, pretty weak, actually. Though. It's got, oh, it's got really good magic. Awesome. Yeah, magic infused. Cool. Alright, let's play with the hard edge for a second. Get it upgraded. Alright, alright. So, let's do it. That's a huge help. Thank you, Lula, for the hint. Don Corneo is missing. Ooh. Right, I'm not going there yet because that's that's the story. We don't want to do that. That's gonna be the end of the exploration. Where are the kids? All, right, all right, we gotta go to the gym too, right? Shinra troops storming the Don's place. Oh man. Okay, I want to find these chocobos, so let's go do that. Side quests. You need some downtime after the heavy content. Yeah, I agree, Lua. I agree. I'm enjoying the side quests right now. Who's this back here? Hi. Hey, what's up? 
man. You vibing with this jam too? Oh, stand up. I wonder if this is one of Betty's songs. I knew there'd be something back here. First chapter. I really like the battle system, so. If you leave the line, you forfeit your place. Also, you I love how there's like five people. Friend. Please form a line! Just like five people chilling there. <laughs> we'll go to Honey. We'll go there too. We'll go to Honey Bee. I'm just trying to uh, take it one step at a time. You know? Madam M probably chilling still. If it isn't Cloud. We're looking for a way topside. No one? Good luck with that. Security's so tight these days that not even mm. a gnat could slip through. Walmart gets in a sorry state, too. Corneo's men are turning it upside down looking for Avalanche. Hmm? The man with a mm. gun for an arm. What? Got a problem? No, but you might. Corneo's men are searching high and low for an Avalanche member who fits your description. Shinra has placed a very impressive bounty on you and your friends' heads. And a lot of people are looking to get rich. Ain't these fools got anything better to do? You should also know that you and that arm of yours were spotted in the Sector 5 slums. Apparently, you were loitering in a oh, no. flower garden. Oh, yeah? Wait. This is oh, bad. no. Really bad. Let's move. Oh, man. Is this main story? Oh, God. Alright, so wow, I have a lot to do now. I feel like it's gonna be those three goons that we fought a thousand times. This is cool. There's a lot of side quests. This is this is good. I like what's going on here. With like actual cutscenes like this. We got a lot of stuff to check out. That cool music was just starting, but let's go see if Betty uh, likes the song while we're here. Walmart is huge, dude. It's so easy to get lost. Yeah, I know those guys are at Eric's house. So wait, there's a new song playing? Stand up. Hey. All right. That's wrong. Wrong, wrong, wrong. This is how you get down with this jam. I ought to know. It was my favorite back in the day. Pay attention, kiddo. It's all. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Come on, little lady. Why don't you give it a whirl? Oh my god, that's hilarious. So we gotta get him to be happy. I like it. Power music. Hey, Betty! <laughs> this is actually really cool. You'll have to find it since it's nearby. Oh, you talking about the Chocobo? That's a cool side quest. I really like this. It's cool, man. Alright, so we'll leave that one and then we'll, we'll continue to get tracks, you know, as we get them. Seems like the original too, which is cool. Ooh, treasure. I swear this new treasure's here. Song. Oh, there's a song nearby? Yeah, where was that coming from? I'm so confused. That's what I thought, but where? Is it in here? Must be. Can't see a damn thing. Oh. It must be. Welcome. Are you in need of accommodation? No. Not now anyway. Does this guy have it? Yeah, he does. Yeah. There's nothing quite like kicking back Prelude. and letting the music flow through you. What's that? My flow. You want to get in on my flow? Good night until tomorrow. That's hilarious. It's a five second song. All right, Betty, we got another one for you. He passed it again on the chain link face tunnel. Here we are. Hey, we got one for you. Ooh, I like this one. It's really peaceful, don't you think? Um, is it okay Aww. if I stay and listen for a bit? This song is a favorite of mine. Sure. Yeah, Betty. Ah, uh, look at Betty. She's She's vibing. She's vibing, man. I'm up, I'm dancing, and I'm feeling good. I can't sit around feeling sorry for myself. Damn, power music is actually real. It just is. I like this quest. It's just the one you get. 
Man, I'm so bummed I miss Barrett's theme, man. Why? Okay. Oh, that means all right. That means the third song is in Wall Market somewhere because they're both here. What the heck is this? Some back alley. The third song's got to be here. Let's find it. Could be in here. Pleasure to see you again, sir. You're a regular. <laughs> You're a regular. Really sorry, sir. Mr. Rodea is currently training at the gym. Since you're here, sir, might you favor us with another dazzling performance? No. Oh my God, that's so funny. He's at the gym. Oh no, we gotta go see him at the gym. Dude, that's hilarious, Barrett. It's like, what did you perform? I got a metal remix. Are you serious, dude? I know which one you're talking about, dude. That's so funny. All right, so you can't go in, but Andrea is at the gym. Man. All right, we gotta we gotta find some stuff, man. It's here somewhere. I love how Andrea's in the gym. He's like training so that night he can come back and do his performance. Be Jack. It's kind of cool, man. Here we are. Whoa! He just got super dark. Where is he? It's been hours now. Don't you think he's done enough? Dude, he's doing pull-ups? I have enough. Nope. He's doing mad pull-ups. Andy. I thought Jules has like a wrestler outfit, by the way. Look at his boots. Man, I can hear his lats. Yeah. <laughs> I love it. Looking for Andy. Found him. He's been at it half the day. What a beast, man. Cloud, how are you? I was hoping you knew a way we could get topside. Sorry, but it's still doing pull ups. Possible. Well, well. What do we have here? I can see your similar likes to train. Okay, Pokemon. Best. Tifa! Me? Your physique. Ooh. Slender yet toned. And a hey, hey. Balanced symmetry. I can tell from a glance that Stop you're sweet talking, Tifa. Areas. But your muscles look tight. Which can only mean one thing. You're How dare you. It. Tifa? Excuse me. You're Tifa, right? While you're here. Wanna oh. give Andy a run for his money? Work up a sweat? Release some endorphins? It's the answer to everything. Oh my god. I promise. I'm in. Andrea's warming up with half a day of pull-ups. What a savage, dude. Ooh, we got a Tifa? We doing it? Let's do it. Alright then. The winner. Oh my god, I love this game. Pull-ups and squats. Right? It's just the two of us. Perform now. more pull-ups than your opponent and the allotted time to win. In the event of a tie, you will lose. Follow the on-screen guide. Press the cards. Alright, so it's gonna be the same as squats, maybe? Like we tied! Oh we tied. I knew you could do it. I think we got it. And I screwed up constantly. I think he just sucked real bad that time. And he slaps his ass. Yeah, I've seen that in the trailers. I'm actually kind of bummed they showed that. Oh, it's iTunes? Get the hell off here. I can't believe I won. Your fiery <laughs> passion pushed me to my limits and helped me to overcome my lingering stress and fatigue. I'll be taking the stage to yeah. the best condition of my life. Thank you. No, thank you. Hey, don't play with her. The same. To commemorate the evening. I would be honored if you joined no. the stage for a performance someday. Wait. <laughs> don't tell me. Oh my god, don't tell me Tifa can get on stage. That would be so epically epic. If we could dance together though. Oh, the Coliseum. Okay, I'm gonna stop by the Coliseum. There's a chance the song's inside and there might be another Coliseum quest. So let's just, let's just look quick. There's gotta be something to do in here. Even if it's just a casual like Entering the tournament, but can I just go downstairs? Cool, check it out. Hey, been waiting for you. So there it is. Wait, 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 I missed the song. Oh my god. Oh, okay. So there was literally one before. Now we have all these. That's cool. Oh, we get another. Wow. Oh man, we get we get limit breaks for this. That's crazy. Oh, that's dirty. Okay, let's uh let's try this over here. Oh oh, we got press people. The track of the 
Sentry. This will be easy. Famous last word. <laughs> oh my god, he's singing the victory theme on his own, man. Oh, okay, did stagger him. Awesome. See you around, kid. Victory. I like how it heals you a little bit, too. Really cool concept. Oh yeah, we're doing great. He's half dead. More than half dead. Steel skin was a win. The sheer amount of arrangements and just like experimentation actually glorious in this game. Boom! Catastrophe. Yeah, I really liked Cloud's second limo we got, so catastrophe? We shall take it. Final Fantasy as a franchise has some of the best music in gaming history. Never were truer words spoken, Snyder. I agree wholeheartedly. And I'm such a, like, FF, like, what's the word, uh, junkie, that I went to two Distant Worlds conference concerts in one day. That's how much of a junkie I am, man. You got to hear Dancing Mad? Oh, I'm actually jealous. I did not get to hear Dancing Mad. You must have gone uh, a year or two before me, because Dancing Mad is so freaking hard to perform, because they need not only the full choir, but... It's a long song, so you need to work it into the set. And uh, I've been to a couple. The one I went to was sick because it was two concerts, two separate concerts in one day. And I believe it was at nighttime they had the choir, and during the day they didn't. So I got totally different uh, songs. It was just like a dream come true, man. But still, my, my favorite ever will be the first one I went to. Just because of. Uh, just because I sat next to Nobu Amatsu, and it was like. A, crazy fever dream of the night. It was so cool. <laughs> Kefka's no battle theme. Oh, yeah, dude. I know exactly what Dancing Man did. Oh, yeah. Dancing Man is legendary. But my favorite one, so that, that night as itself, and then hearing Xanarkin with uh, my friend Juanito, who was with us, was just like, because FF10 is our favorite game, and it was like this crazy moment we had. It was really cool. Oh, we staggered him? Game over. Game, set, match. We're just going to flex on him, see if we can hit him with dive kick. Oh yeah, boom. Just disrespect him, man. All right, cool. We're gonna we're gonna cut it there for now. We'll come back, mix it up a little bit. We got the limit breaks. We gotta find this song. With these babies, you can send intruders flying. I guarantee this is the only home protection you'll ever. All right, need. okay. We got it, guys. Fight on. Amazing. Look at the cover art, dude. The album cover. <laughs> it looks like your default, like, early 2000s metal cover. It's beautiful. What is this? Fuzzy Wuzzy? A cute stuffed animal? Also an explosive. Oh, okay. Totally normal. Mr. Cuddlesworth. Also an explosive. What is this, man? This has to be a side quest or something. There's only one in stock, too. Right, let's get out of here. Only a few left. Get yours while you can. Oh my god, Slayer's in. It sounds like progressive metal like arrangement. Okay, here we go. Let's get Betty her track. She's gonna be jamming. What a song. It makes me feel like I can do many. Yeah! Yeah! I can feel this song calling to my inner warrior. Yeah! I can take on the world. It's time I took Made a stand. Hell yeah, that's it. That's yeah, Barrett. We need right now. Be a force oh, brother. I like that. I like that. Be a force for change. She wasn't like forcefully trying to recruit him to Avalanche. She's just like, good. Isn't this great? Everyone's smiling again. Thanks so much for the help. Our pleasure. I think we needed it too. Da, 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 Barrett da, spamming da, da, the victory team at this point. <laughs> Until the day our victory fanfare rings out through all of Midgar. Our battle will rage on. <laughs> what a beast. All right. Look at Betty. She's jamming. <laughs> She's doing like a shuffle. Oh, my God. She's a regular TikTok girl. This guy's like fighting over his training. Oh, man. I love it. I love it. We did a good deed today. The gift of sweet tunes. This version sounds like an early metal. Not quite thrash metal. Yeah, it's kind of cool. It's like it's got that old school vibe i want to hear these songs not uh okay there's a me uh there's a film term i forgot oh god somebody somebody destroy me i forgot it so there's a film turn it's not didactic it's a different thing it's a term for i'll look this up for the next video 
where your the characters are hearing the music in the story, like in the film. So it's not music that is a soundtrack. It's also part of the soundtrack inadvertently, but it's music that the characters only are hearing. Um, somebody should Google that for me, <laughs> so we can remember this term. But it's uh, it's really cool. So in that case, that's what it'll be called. And there's a lot of great movie scenes that do this. Um, when you think of like Pulp Fiction and stuff, where Travolta and uh, what's her face, uh, Uma, are dancing and stuff, it's it's that type of concept for film. So it's pretty cool. It's a pretty cool device when used cleverly. And then sometimes they'll do a trick, the old trick where uh, the song starts playing and we think that it's part of the soundtrack and then the characters are interacting with the, the music, so it's pretty cool. You can get fancy with it. But inadvertently it has it has to have an effect that makes it in the world. Die, it might be, it might be, yeah. That could be it. Okay, so we did Betty's quest, really cool. I kind of think we go for the chocobos now, because we don't know how to do the secret medicine. Been to Eris' house already, but hey, we have to go to Eris' house anyway to fight those guys. Missing children? I have absolutely no idea. We've been around a bit and not found them, but they could just be like out in the world somewhere. Go through the dungeons again, you know? Like, I kind of want to just do the chocobo thing. I'm just a little unclear on which way to go. Why don't we look at the cart thing and see what the options are? The chocobo cart. Even though it's kind of pricey. It may just help us. Because if we get those, we'll be able to fast travel better, you know? It's kind of a good one to do up front. Okay, Sector 5 back alley. So that's, that's, where, uh, that's where Aerith lives. That one goes to the Collapsed Expressway. Collapsed Expressway. Yeah, let's go there. Let's go see. There's got to be a chocobo here, so. Be good. Let's get around easier. It'll be good for the side quest. It's a good place to start. I love that we get a chocobo theme in this game, too. Like a legit one. <coughs> Not a uh, jukebox one. We have made it. No idea which way to look, but uh, whatever, you know? Former plate. There's a Collapsed Expressway caved in tunnel. Maybe we just go there. Just check it out, you know? I'm ending this. Oh my goodness gracious, that was cool. That was real cool. Oh, this guy's still active. Get off my girl. Not bad. Yeah, man, that whack a box was way too fun, by the way. I might have to do that again with Infinity's End. Because we didn't have it. <laughs> Actually, kind of proud of you there, that. Okay, so we're gonna go this way, I believe, again. Yeah. Uh, okay, where are we going? Okay, I think we're still going the right way. Yeah. Like, it has to show, like, what is classical music? It doesn't, it doesn't mean, like... Classical doesn't mean, like... Oh, it's a violin! It's a, that's not classical music, it's a style of writing music. Um, so you have, like, the Baroque period, which came before, which has a lot of harpsichord and everything. It's a kind of... sort of, uh, like, back and forth... T uh, tone color when you have like a harpsichord and this like beautiful bass line at the back and stuff. If you think of uh, Castlevania Symphony of the Night, you guys remember the library theme from Castlevania Symphony of the Night? That's a Baroque piece. It's a really, really cool song. Um, but then classical music, uh, when that... And I think Lula knows a lot of this stuff too, being a musician. But you think of classical music, um, when that... Uh, what's the word I'm looking for? When that uh, era came around, like Twinkle Twinkle Little Star, like, it's just a, an example that everybody knows. Is like a classical song. Right? It's a simple melody. It's incredibly catchy because it's a beautiful, simple melody um, that you can build on. And, like, that's what Nobu Uematsu is a master of. That classical melodic work. Some of the melodies, yeah, they got simple melodies always stick with Yep, Star Wars is simple. You can hum it precisely. This is also why. When you look at like uh, the Dragon Quests of the world, or, uh, or Dragon Warrior back then, I guess, or like other games um, for the NES, when Final Fantasy comes around, because he's like so masterfully doing that classic melody, what you end up having is this such memorable, like it's in your head the rest of the day when you play Final Fantasy as a kid. You know what I mean? It's not, I think I came from that way. It's not even like, oh yeah, we, uh, it's a pretty good song. I think it was this way. Because of the simplicity of it. And that's why I love Nobu's work. I was talking about this in a YouTube video, but like, um, pretty much everybody will agree that like, Yoko Shimomura's work is a lot more advanced. You know, it's sophisticated from a musical standpoint. Like, we're all gonna agree on it. It's just the way it's, uh, she uses a lot of like, crazy at times, like, what's the word? Not syncopation. Syncopation sometimes, for sure. But um, she'll do like, really creative time signatures and a lot of difficult stuff. Um, 
that it's it's kind of it's almost like a challenging listen. It's so creative. It's like, ooh, okay. Ooh, you know, what are we listening to here? It kind of takes your brain a second to wrap around it. Um, but it's sometimes not as memorable or easy to hum because of that, right? Because it's so advanced musically. It's so impressive. Whereas Nobu, always his pieces are fairly simple. And to be fair, not always. Like, Nobu does his fair share of, like, really cool time signatures and stuff, too. But, or, like, rare, I guess, instead of cool. But his tend to be a lot more memorable because of the simplicity, and that's that's why we all love him. Yeah. Okay, so I went through the big tunnel thing. It's easy to remember. We go in this way. Oh, wait, are we? I think so. Oh my god, I got the, I got the the watch walking. It's the eye watch. I got 3,000 steps, baby. No chocobo in sight. Yeah. Definitely talking about music too much, not paying attention. But it's alright. Man, this game is so awesome. Oh, we got, a, we got a chocobo. I did go the right way, apparently. You're okay, buddy. Don't you worry. Oh, he's scared. Work, work. Calm down, Cloud. Oh, that's what Quest sounds like. That's, how dare you? You freaks. Leave this chocobo alone. Thundaga. First time use. Ooh, it didn't really do anything. But maybe we'll stagger him. Yeah, yeah. Stagger coming up. Ah, I want to do the other one, but it's not going to work. Wow, I think I staggered two of them at the same time? Okay. Fire in the hole. Please. Okay, he got it off before they knocked him out. Oh, he's going to die. He's going to die. We actually killed one. We actually killed one. Okay. Oh my god. That's it, you're getting somersaulted, dude. I can't believe that we're dying so much, we're just getting limit all over the place. It's hilarious. Oh my god, we actually won. We somehow won. Whoa. That's crazy. I'm so excited. That was a really hard battle, but it was kind of like a... It was just a challenging mechanic, I think. Quack, quack. What was that? Because <gasps> all green. Do we only have one? Wait, what? Sam's delivery service is back in operation. Sector 6 slums, Evergreen Park, Wall Market, Urban Advanced District. Urban Advancement District? Wait, what? Collapse Road. Boarding only. Okay. So we go talk to the sign, maybe? What do you guys think? Yeah. I was going to say, get me out of this place. Precious quick way. Get me out of here. What is this? Wall Market Urban Advancement? Is this a new area? No, it can't be. It's probably just like that side of the entrance, right? There's gotta be a choke around here somewhere. Let's just uh, let's tour around a little bit. Those missing kids too, they gotta be chilling somewhere. Yeah, they said they said you could hear a que in one of the back alleys, I think. Oh, is that a hint that there's flowers elsewhere? Okay. Oh, okay, what do we got? Thank goodness you're here. A group of Corneo's men just oh, came right, 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 right. place. Oh, Corneo's men. Oh my god in heaven. Is that a Tonberry? Okay, here we go. Heard you punks were looking for This is why I love Barrett, dude. Wait. Heard you were looking for me. You? Uh, should have okay. known you were one of them. But am I? Whatever. Enough of this bullshit. Hey, let him loose. Here we go. Uh, sure. Dude. <laughs> no. <laughs> Stay away. <laughs> yeah. Come to bits, you hear me? Leave the faces, though. Shinra ain't gonna get uh, the body otherwise. Leave the faces. Okay. This, I'm really glad we saved before, man. It's about to get serious. About to get real serious. That was a scene, dude. I was like mind blown from that. So amazing. And the stuff with Marlene and stuff, I'm just like, I'm so happy with what they've done. I'm so pleased. Doom and gloom. Oh, no, 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 no. He just insta killed Barrett. No, no. No! Whoa, whoa, whoa. Excuse me. He just insta killed two people? I bet I'm next. He's actually just dropping us like flies, dude. No! He's coming! 
Stay away! <laughs> Stay away, you freak! He's gone. Oh, man. He's actually gone. I'm terrified. Dude, he teleported behind me? Okay, quick! This is madness. Actually crazy. I really like what they're doing with the cloud uh, development. And, like, that was... That was the one thing I was still, like, kind of, uh, what's the word, kind of hoping for. The love they did with Cloud, as far as the post, uh, post plate drop stuff, because, like, Cloud wouldn't just suddenly be, like, super supportive of Tifa and, like, super, super, super personable and, like, oh, Tifa, come here, let's comfort you. Like, he just wouldn't, like, at this point, right? So, um, it was really nice how they did that, and it kind of, like, the, the act of him kind of bringing his hands up and, like, the, oh, man, it was really nice. I liked it. He's... Oh my god. I have never even seen this. Is this stop? Wow. He froze Barrett. Okay. What do we want to do? He's actually staggered? Oh. Destroy. Destroy. It's over. It's over. We can do this. Go Barrett. Destroy him. Maximum Fury. Done. Done deal. Wow. That was terrifying. I feel bad for the Tom Barrett. Not really his fault. You better... Get down on your knees. We give up, uh, okay? We won't say a word to no one about you being here. Really, honest. That's right. You'll tell everyone we were never here. What a boss, the man. Rumors were bullshit. And if we hear about you or any of your friends, you'll die ever again. You'll Ooh. answer to my boot. Yes, sir. Uh, answer yes. to the boot. Has been playing through the original. Absolutely, core, but. The thing that's cool, I was talking about it last night. It's essentially the opposite of the new Star Wars, right? So, you remember, you, we've talked about this, right? My, my argument with the new Star Wars versus uh, this is that, like, whether you love or hate the new Star Wars, it is actually fan fiction. Like, factually fan fiction, right? It would be like, oh, you know how a lot of people didn't like uh, certain aspects of Game of Thrones? Um, it would be like if somebody didn't like Game of Thrones Book 5 and they were like, this sucks. We didn't like it as much. Have someone else write the last one. Yeah, that's great. Even if it's ten times better, it's still fan fiction, right? Because you just stole it from the author and like finished the story for him because he didn't like it. So it's the opposite of what happened with Star Wars. Like as you know, like Bob Iger actually robbed George Lucas, like tricked him into selling it. Said he was going to use George Lucas's original story, then threw it in the trash and said like, "Oops, yeah, we're not going to do that." But we bought it, so you can never use it again. Screw you, and never even speak about it ever again. A complete intellectual destruction, right? And like one of the slimiest business moves in the history of the human race. But this is the exact opposite. It's the original creators. So pretty much writing is the main thing in as far as following the story, right? So Nojima wrote FF7. And Nojima was like, thank goodness I get to revisit my work. I have these great interviews with him. I get to revisit my work and I get to check this out and go deeper into cloud, go deeper into everything. So is it the same story? Yes. But it's that it's that being able to revisit and expand on stuff so there's a lot of like new stuff there's a lot of scenes that are more in depth there's like i don't really even say there's changes like per se i don't think about that for a second but does it truly original absolutely dude. like most of the iconic scenes are to a t and there was one scene i think i think it was last stream where um and i don't know how much you know like by heart of the original story so i won't say just in case core but there's one, there's one scene where in the original, it's one of my favorite scenes in the original. It's incredibly like emotional, but it's very, it's quite stilted, you might say. It's very like, it's almost Shakespearean monologue level, which you, it just wouldn't happen in real life per se, in that in that way, realistically. Is like Shakespeare bad art? Like obviously not, right? But it's just, it's stilted, right? People don't speak in that fact. There's no like Shakespearean asides in real life. It's what you're thinking inside your head. You don't speak it, right? So something happens this with Barrett. And I remember watching it in the original game and being like, oh, man, they're, they're not going to do this in the remake. Like, it's one of my favorite scenes. They're not going to do it. They're just not going to do it. It doesn't translate well. They're going to be like, oh, it's too anime, which is fine. But it's such a good scene. And, dude, they did it exactly. And the performance is probably one of the best in the game. I have to finish it, so I can't say if it's the best. But it was just mind-blowing, man. Very, very well done. And they not only delivered it line for line from the original, but they changed something where uh, Barrett was like firing his gun. This isn't really spoiling. He was firing his gun in frustration, and they changed it so he was actually punching with his like 
it kind of emphasizes like how how disturbing it is. Not disturbing that's the word like how tragic it is that the man's lo- he has one arm and he's just punching with his one arm uh kind of like futile punching this wall and it's just very upsetting and they added in this crazy dynamic with tifa and barrett which i love they don't talk about this at all in the original really like there's little you know hints and stuff but like tifa and barrett have an incredibly close relationship like much closer than cloud and uh tifa at this point like cloud and tifa have like a childhood and then like later teenage years things happen that are very intense but like as far as a day-to-day relationship barrett and tifa are incredible like dude tifa's raising his daughter for all intents and purposes right this man's like trying to change the world he's out all the time and we saw a flashback like tifa is pretty much with marlene all day at the bar right so you have this crazy moment of tifa and barrett like it was so awesome man uh tifa's having a hard time like they they kind of comfort each other they like shows the depth of their connection and their friendship which is incredibly deep and like again we don't really we don't really see that in ff7 like a little bit near the beginning but we never get those moments where it's like dude these two have been through hell on earth tifa trying to turn her life around come work at seventh heaven definitely like uh helps raise marlene there's all these great things so yeah i i was that's the perfect example i can give you word for word loyal to the original but then adding so much depth to it that it's just like and then the music and the the voice acting is just bonkers man BGG says he actually does punch in the original. Oh, he does punch. Oh, there you go. That's great. Because, yeah, I swear I remember going like... Da, 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 da. I could be missing... I could think of a different scene. He wanted the physical pain because it wasn't as bad as the emotional pain. Dang, that's real, Snyder. That's real. That part got me. Yeah, that part really just... I got you, BGG. Yeah, dude. It's... The original, I'm pretty sure he was setting his gun off. Not bad. Yeah, it's, it's one of the two, but either way, BGG's right. Like, it was... It takes away from the scene because I remember it just being a repeat sound effect, like whatever, whatever he's doing, and it's just kind of like okay, <laughs> it's like thirty seconds of just this one sound effect, and again, it was still emotion with the Lego people, right? So that's it's it's crazy, man. And again, John Eric Bentley as Barrett, wow, dude, that scene finally like it was the final nail in the coffin of him being like just godly. This kitchen, by the way, is so cool. It's so small, but there's so much character in this kitchen, man. You got a microwave, you got a fridge with, like, stuff on it. And this is right out of the original, because I loaded this up when we were waiting for the download to unlock. And we went in Eric's house and checked it out, and it's just, like, so good, man. Because I remember exclaiming when we were looking at the original, like, dude, look at the detail in this pre-rendered background. There's stuff in the cabinets, there's all these things, like, even back then, man. Even back then, they were putting all the work in, so. But yeah, I think that scene was the perfect way to sum it up, Core. Like, it's just... It's just, it's elevated, man. That's how I describe it. It's elevated to this new standard, uh, to the modern standard. But already being the great story it is, it's just a recipe for, like, incredible storytelling, you know? All right, so missing kids, still have no idea. We have the church chocobo we could try to find. But we still didn't find the chocobo here, oddly enough. A lot of this is the in-between stuff. Did you notice that, too? Like... Look at how a lot, this, this is a town now, this is like a legit Final Fantasy town, whereas before it was like a couple screens, where there's like a weapon shop, think a materia shop, this guy are sick inside a pipe, like there's not, there's not a lot going on. Still gets across that it's a slums, right? There's a guy living in a pipe. There's just like, you know, garbage everywhere. It's, it's all grungy and not clean and stuff, they, they nail it. But they just have so much more freedom now, you know? Alright, that guy said Aerith grows flowers elsewhere, so they're out there somewhere. But Chocobo in the back alleys of the Sector 5 slums. That's the one that's throwing me off, because I'm pretty sure we walked through all this. If I remember, when I was walking with Aerith from the church, we did come from this way. This is definitely the way to the train station, and then to the church, if I remember. Bro, Tifa. Damn, Easy, Johnny, I will you mess you up. Again. I told you to stop Bruh. calling me that. <laughs> bro, I'm in serious Bruh. need of your expertise. Let me a Don't hand. call me bro. Bro. Fine. What? Truth is, I'm uh, trying to get out of town for uh, reasons. Yeah, reasons. But the thing is, <laughs> I got mugged. She took Who? it. Took it all, man. <sighs> I tried to chase her down. I really did. But she was real fast, like. Man, what am I gonna Who is do? This? this could be the end for old Johnny boy. I'm begging you, help me out. Come on, bro. <laughs> what she look like? Bruh. Bro. What she look like, bruh? Uh, hold on. Let me think. Want to get this it's right? It's Kyrie. She was a cutie. Black hair. Right. Pretty sure she was wearing a hat. 
Yep, and, this is Kyrie. Uh, oh, yeah. oh, she's a straight up crook, man. Stockings, too. Yep, Kyrie. straight up crook. Which way'd she go? Uh, toward the church. Oh, this is sick. Now we can kill two birds with one materia. I had to watch behind the scenes, man. I love seeing the artists, like, so pumped about their craft and everything. But, dude, this song is one of my favorites that they redid. It is just, and again, it's the perfect example core. Like, exact. Like, if you played the original over it, they match up perfectly. But it's just, uh,. Real instruments, great arrangement, instrumentation is there, but it's the same exact song. Same exact feel, just with a real instrument. We got a chocobo, guys. We got ourselves a chocobo. Oh, and no, and no uh, boss fight, too. Perfect. I feel like we did the hard one first, guys. Maybe left, left them behind instead. Yeah, right. That's why this game is so on point, because with Nojima, the writer, um, and Nomura, who actually, believe it or not, Nomura came up with a lot of the story of FF7. That's like a rarely known fact, but Nomura came up with the whole like, ex-soldier thing. Like He actually put a lot more into the, uh, like when he was designing the characters, like he put the story into the designs and then pitched it to uh, Kitase, who directed the game. And they it was like a really cool collaborative effort. And I think that's why the original game is so good too. It was just like passion everywhere, all over the place, spilling over with passion. And you had um, like Sakaguchi, the reason he was so great and the reason it was such a tragedy when he left is like, Sakaguchi was a visionary, right? So you have like every Final Fantasy game being this crazy idea, like based on an artistic concept. Um, for instance, if you didn't know FF7, the whole artistic concept from Sakaguchi from FF7 was his mother died, tragically. And he was trying to like understand what it means to live in a world without his mother and kind of move on from her death. So no spoilers, like there are there's a concept of death in this game in the OG, and um, that's that's it. The entire game was just trying to explore that and dealing with death and how you move on and what happens to people when they die. Like, and if you know the original game, it actually makes it a lot more meaningful uh, knowing that. <laughs> so you have like this visionary concept That's a win. from Sakaguchi just trying to like voice this really interesting idea he's struggling with in his life as an artist. But then you have this like task force of just like artistic beasts who are helping him tell that artistic vision. And that's why it's just such like a dream team, right? Because you have Nomura who like whether or not you like Nomura, uh, uh, like his, his other work, like his design. I mean he designed some like titans of iconic you know gaming history right all over the place he's spitting them out like it's uh, like hotcakes right so to have him as designer and coming up with concepts for the character stories to have uh nojima writing who's like such a great writer writing and voicing the story coming up with the concepts with sakaguchi and nomura and then to have uh i mean nobu on the music it's, it's just like it's just game over dude but yeah that's why i, I always like final fantasy in general because it's it's probably the franchise with the most artistic integrity out of all franchises. Oh, so there's a legit, uh, you can come right here. That's really cool. And, oh, it's this guy. I'll finish that thought in a second. Oh, it's you, my good Merc. What my good brilliant Merc. timing you have. Oh, hello there. It is a pleasure to meet you both. I'm a journalist. The Daily Buzz. The Daily Buzz. The Daily Buzz. <laughs> You mean that trash bill with <laughs> fluff pieces? Yeah. Well, yes, that's fair. But we do get See, a lot fair? of inside information because of our close Whoa. ties with the company. Whoa. Huh? <laughs> Curious. Curious. Here's the scoop. A certain division of Shinra that shall remain nameless was planning to seize the Corneo Turks, no doubt. Assets. Totally Turks. But before they could, the key to his secret vault within which his misbegotten gains were securely tucked away mm. was stolen. And my sources tell me that the thief Ooh, good. Is the I want to finish this beloved hero like sub story the, the, slums. the unidentified bandit who's been targeting anyone with ties to Shinra or Corneo. Yes, that angel of the slums has struck again. Well, do I have your undivided mm -hmm. attention now? Kinda, but hurry it up. We don't have time for a three-act play. Then I'll make this quick. So, my good Merc, you do remember where the angel's hideout is, right? Do you remember oh. the threat she left there? Oh, that. I decided to seek the silver lining in this case. 
If the Angel of the Slums deigns to take an interest in a humble reporter, then that itself would be a story. <sighs> what are you asking? If you recover the stolen key, feel free to help yourself to the contents of Corneille's vault. All I want is knowledge, the identity of the Angel. So if you happen to learn anything of value, I'd be tremendously grateful to you if you passed okay. it along. Oh, I'm so stupid, man. How could I forget about the flowers in the church? Am I am I brain dead? Hello? All right, don't step on the flowers, Kyria. You will die for your mistakes. It's just is it, there's something about this though that that brings me back to being a kid. Like this is a set from Advent Children, recreated like almost exactly. There are some changes to it, but pretty much playing in Advent Children, and it's just it's it's still crazy to realize that. Ooh, -hoo -hoo, what have we here? I don't mind if I do. Medicinal flowers. There you go. Yeah, you're a a thief. In my life. You Kyrie? Uh, Kyrie? Who's that? Can't say I know her, but oh, you're done. Cool name. <laughs> Someone mugged our friend and took every last skill he Beat her, had. Tifa. Sound familiar? Beat her up. Oh, that? <laughs> oh, I thought I was in actual trouble. What? Don't scare me like that. Now I remember you. That chick. Oh, that chick. The one who was spreading lies in Sector 5. Oh, yeah, I did do that. Good times, good times. <gasps> Hold on. I Blondie. know you, Blondie. You're that merc everyone's talking about. Oh, maybe my luck's not so bad. Shinra's after me. You've got to help me. So from them too, did you? No. Well, yes, sort of. It's complicated. How was I supposed to know they were Shinra? And now those jerks won't leave me alone. Even though all I took was some ugly key. I mean, what's the big deal anyway? Wait a minute. That was Tornia. Oh, great. That's so hysterical. She took it. Talking about it. <laughs> Is this the end? Yes, you are dead. dead Sorry. We have to go and run. Leave Midgar forever and yep. never look back. Kyrie, please. Just give us the money you stole from our friend, would you? And the key while you're at it. No way! You're gonna split. Oh my god, shut her up. She's definitely acting. I can't handle this on my oh my own. god, somebody slap her. <laughs> Tifa, slap her! <laughs> Scarlet style. We'll handle Shinra if you give us the key. Oh, that's fair. Deal? Yeah, she's kidding, of it's course. A deal. All an act. Right about now, those Shinra creeps should be hanging Ooh, out at the Coliseum. They're waiting for a special match to start, starring yours truly. It's the talk of the town. Oh my god. You're joking. Oh, I won't be there. I'm not stupid. It's a miracle you've managed to <laughs> stay alive this long. Fair. I'll take that as a compliment. Now run along and clean up my mess. Clean up my mess. What a jerk face, dude. We gotta see if that material is available in the back of the church, though. You'll get your key. Oh, so we gotta beat safe. people. Hey, we have the fast travel here now. You know, no worries. I'm actually glad I can walk around in the church now, too. This is something I didn't get to do because it was like cutscene, Reno fight, cutscene. I didn't just, just get to stand in the church. It's actually really awesome. I'm glad they let us do this and didn't keep it like this sort of sacred set that we couldn't play around in, as, as weird as that sounds. Oh, yeah. I saw this in the cutscene, and I was like, I need you. What is it? Chakra materia? Oh, that's really good, man. Because uh, some now two people can have it. It's a pretty nifty thing to have. Pretty nifty. Let's see what else we can loot. That's locked up. Find out soon enough. We're getting close on this playthrough, man. We've been... Uh, We've been told of the point of no return, so that's pretty exciting, actually. Or a point of no return, I should say. It's not going to be the end, but it's going to be the the path to the end. So that's really exciting. Cool, we're all blocked. I think that's about it, man. I love how it makes you walk through the church. It's like, no, this is a place of <laughs> reverence. You will not run through here like a misfit freak. God, that's cool. Yeah, actually, I haven't seen Avent Children in years and years. I would be curious to just see... How much they changed. I remember the columns, because I know there's a shot of Cloud walking um, with the dolly movement through the columns. Uh, and I know that's pretty much the same. The backdrop with... Uh, it's it's slightly different uh, behind Curie there, where Tifa like, does her big like Shaolin stance pose back there, which is it's pretty cool to see. Alright, well, let's uh, continue on. We got our medicinal herbs. So, it's kind of pricey, man, but I think we can... I think we can afford this. Do we have what we need? 
Let me just check. I think we have everything we need for that guy now, right? Let's just check the inventory. So I say before the turn, yeah, we can't do the medicinal one yet. We gotta go to Behemoth. So let's just go to uh, Wall Market. While well, she's uh, she's hot on the mind here. Wall Market entrance. You're still here. Thank you. You guys are legends. You showed up. There's oh, two stages. Sam couldn't have picked a better time. This Kyrie chick totally flaked on her match, which means we're down a fighter, and we can't exactly pit the other guy against ah. himself. What do you say? Mind taking her spot? Okay, special matches is Kyrie, so we'll do that. I'll take it. Sweet! You're a real Wall Market hero, man. Crowd's gonna go wild when they see you. Uh, this is weird. All right. Out of time. The hell you doing here, <laughs> Beastmaster? That thieving little pipsqueak. Guessing he's the guy she's running from. Kyrie's not coming. You'll have to make do with us. <laughs> Whatever. I can roll with it. After all, unfinished business. In a shocking turn of events, grudge match. Which of these two will claim victory in today's Angel Cup? Fighters, begin! Man, shout out to the Coliseum in this game. What in God's name is that thing? Here we are. In the arena, doing what Barrett does best, blast and beat the folks. It's kind of cool having him with Raze because he doesn't die often. He has a lot of MP because he doesn't really use it too much. So. I think we got him. Oh, that was... Wow. I mean, that was a special battle, so that makes sense. That was cool. I like that. Not only does he retain his crown, but now he can add Beast Whisperer to his list of impressive achievements. I mean, streamed a good amount, man. <laughs> it's weird that I've never seen this happen. I use other words other than mess. Ah, oh, here, here. Kyrie, what do you got to say, woman? So how'd it go? Well enough. If they're smart, they won't send anyone else. Really? Oh, that is so good to hear. Learn your lesson, girl. Totally. From now wow. on, I only steal from the right people. That ain't the lesson. Oh, talk about a weight off my shoulders. She give us the key. Oh, I completely lost track of time. I'd better get going. She's hold it. Oh my god, that's her uh, grandma. grandma. Why are you here? You young lady are gonna hear about this later. Okay, that's kinda cool actually. Thank you for keeping her out of trouble. She say grandma? What? Did yeah, they, she's definitely the angel this long. Kyrie is my granddaughter, my flesh and blood. See? We even have the same eyes. Kyrie, the key. Don't BS me, Kyrie. I've been waiting long enough. Yeah, yeah. What's it for, anyway? Why do you guys want it? And how's that any of your business, young lady? Learn to wipe your own ass before you wow. start rooting around in other people's shit. Ugh, Grandma, cut it out. You're embarrassing me. Me embarrass you? Says the girl who steals from anyone. Yeah. Even a thief needs principles. Not yeah, she's the, the angel. Of convictions to follow their yep. Take it from me. I knew it. Guardian angel of the slums. That's kind of cool. You're the angel? Yeah, and don't say a word. Are avalanche. <sighs> There's a fire in you. I can see it flickering in your eyes. Yeah. That same fire's in me too. The guardian angel of the slums, avalanche. They're just names. We are who we choose to be. But you have to decide who that is and commit. Make the most of your time when you Grandma's still have well, for sure. Right? <laughs> Cornell Vault Note. Interesting. We Ooh. are who we choose to be. Huh? If we got our oh. hands on Corneo's fortune and gave it away, we could be angels of the slums too. Huh. I suppose that's one way we can do some good. But that isn't the only way that Avalanche can good, make a real difference. That's true enough. This fight of ours is far from over, though. Okay, that was really cool. This is what I'm saying about this game. The, the side quests that have those like cool full circle moments. It's not just like, oh yeah, do one random thing for rando number 20 and then never see them again. They all kind of have this interconnected web of nice moments, like seeing uh, Miss Folia in the back alley of Wall Market, like trying to make it as a dancer 
as a secret side hustle at night because she dreamed of being a dad. Like, it's so cool, man. It's so real. When you see her and it's like, oh, she's like a nice, like, teacher woman. Takes care of orphans. Like, no, oh, people have dreams, man. People have dreams. And then this, this is a multi, this is like a three or four quest uh, uh, full circle moment here. I had a feeling it was her, so that's really cool. Oh, man, look at this Advent Children shot. Who would have thought it'd be Grandma, not Tifa? Or Aerith, or the flowers. Let us, uh, let us do something. I think we're actually done in the church. That was a really fun quest. Does she have another quest? I hear Corneo's got what? secret rooms hidden in the sewers. More than even he knows if the I've already been through the sewers, true. woman. That reminds me. Someone spotted a tacky-looking door over... Oh, I know all about that way. door. <gasps> if you're curious, there's another door that's got Corneo's emblem and everything on it. Right by the... Oh my god, do we have the key to get in there now? <sighs> Ooh, you don't say. I like that Zagaros. She actually is kind of Yuffie-ish, huh? All right, let's go. We're doing we're doing all the steps we can, you yeah? know. Ooh, 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 stuff. Stuff happening. What was that? You guys see that? Whoa. Whoa. No idea what this is. Is that a kid? Oh man, maybe this is the kid's side quest after all. What the heck are you doing there, child? It's oats. Hey, Cloud. Hmm. She's gotta be one of them lost kids. I love how Bear participates Who in all these too. Who said we were lost, cool. stupid old man? What'd you say? What are you doing up here? And where's everyone else? Well, we saw a bunch mm. of tombstones lying on the ground, so Good man. we decided to stand them back up. And then I heard laughing coming from somewhere, and when I turned Forget. around, everyone was gone. I was alone. That's real creepy. Oats. What about disappear, but... everyone disappeared. Oh my god, it's a train graveyard, a... dudes. You're in trouble. I'm fighting other ghosts. Spirits. I, I'm actually pumped about this because I had no idea where to look for the kids and just happened to be on the way. We're getting that awesome, like, two birds and one stone again. I'm freaking out, though, man. We're going to be going towards the end of the game soon, man. Once we finish these for you, it's exciting. Farewell. That did it too. One hit. Glorious. So the kids are all on one crazy field trip, essentially. Or oh, they're all dead. It's gonna get super dark now. Sweet. One, two, three, four. Guys. Oh. Look, Cloud's here too. So why'd you kids come out all this way? This is where our parents ah. are. They're resting. Respect. But we wanted to say hi. Sometimes you just want to do that, you know? I do. Oh, damn. Thanks so much for coming to find us. That's another one I owe you. We're going to head back to the house now. Ms. Foley is probably pretty worried. Hey, Time. I found this uh, on the ground. You should dude. It. I think it might come in handy. Bunch of little smart asses. Ah, uh, <laughs> man. What a beast. All right, so that was pretty cool. If you guys know, I won't say a damn thing if you don't know Barrett's backstory. That's pretty cool, man. I sit on the damn bench. Let's move on. The Corneo's Vault. There's the charge. Check out. Okay, number three, baby. We're doing three quests in one, and I like it very much. Quick, quick. Oh my goodness gracious, Glad good thing we sat on that bench, man. Who are you, Rust Drake? What a snarky son of a gun. Let's hit him with Thundaga. Oh my god, we staggered him, see? You can operate at like 100 HP, just stagger him, it doesn't matter, you just go in, see, boom, all day. All day, just wait till I do the true FF7 challenge, man. Just wait, you guys will see. Nothing but ATB. It'll probably take, if I do the math, it'll take probably like 34 months to complete the game. But you guys are going to love it. You guys are going to love it, man. Uh, I, will do, I will do that as a meme, though. I will do bombing mission. I'll try to. I don't even know if you can do guard scorpion like that. But we'll see. 
Sam's delivery service back in op. Alright, that's it. That's it. Okay, that's three. Okay then. That makes oh, three. Headphones are still just we better dead. check in at Sam's. For that meltdown. Return to Sam. Okay, this is awesome. We did No! <laughs> oh my god, I'm so stupid. I didn't go to Corneo's vault. It was right there. Alright. All right. We'll teleport back. My babies are all back home, safe and sound. Now I can finally get back to the business of business. Thanks, partner. Here. Lifetime pass! It's a pass that'll get you a ride on one of my carriages whenever you need it. Okay, Three thank God, because that was actually pretty expensive. Not bad, am I right? Chocobos or something else. You can ride on them, pet them, befriend them. What would we do without them? They're the reason a guy like me can keep a roof over his head in a town like this. And that's no lie. <laughs> I wouldn't blame you for doubting that coming from me, but it is. I was gonna say, so uh, Chocobo Sam, I'm a champ with a heart of gold, huh? You mean the guy you used that cheat coin <laughs> to, to like cheat me out of my uh, my my gamble? What the heck? Okay, so now that I can do a lifetime pass, let's see. Uh, I think we can actually teleport there. Let me talk to this dude because uh, I saved that Chocobo. I'm thinking we can actually get rid of it. There you all are. So we can raid his ball. Well, the chocobos are back. We can finally resume services. Really this is really cool, one. man. This is it. I think this is it. Absolutely is it. Let me rob this son of a gun. Yes. Rob him blind, boys. <laughs> Looks like meat's back on the menu, boy. <laughs> Anyways. Moogle Metal. Maiden's Kiss. Let's start it. Wait, I didn't even realize what material I got. I was too lost being an Urukai. Can we get this? Okay, we can. <laughs> I've never seen this screen. <laughs> wow. That's, that's a pretty cool screen. Okay, what do we got? Oh, this is amazing! Wow! I love when games do stuff like this. Cloud has two of the components, just one more to go. Okay. Cloud finds a component, two more to go. That's where we are right now. Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. All right, secret medicine. I think we just have to go to the the underground thing. So I don't think I can teleport though. Oh no, no, no never mind. We can teleport to the playground. Come on, let's ride. This guy's gotta have a quest. It's the guy. Yeah, for sure. He's gotta have. Some. This is Weimer. Oh, hey Barrett. Hey, how's be it better. going? Could be better. I've got a good number of watchmen okay. out good. looking for survivors. But as much as I'd love to join them. I've got another mess on my hands at the moment. Remember those rumors about a lab? They're true. I've been there, son. Hidden underground somewhere, and it's full of monsters. So, Cloud, think you can lend us a hand with it? It's Destroy only a matter of stuff. Time Sign me up before these monsters come calling. I know it's a dangerous job, but but no one else can do it. Well, yeah. I love how Weimer looks like so this just. Like they even I don't remember he looked like this. I don't think he did, but he's like covered in ash and grime. Um like everybody is here. This guy's sobbing on the bench. Like it's just it's so good, man. I actually like that section because I got a solo Barrett section, like pfft, sign me up. That was so fun. It was so wild, like it was so unexpected, you know. It's just shooting random stuff, like shooting through walls as Barrett. It was so funny, man. Some quests or treasure take you underground. Hold L1 to Return above ground. Really? Hold L1 to return above ground. Yeah, they really they really did well in this, and uh, I gotta give them shout outs to really capturing that like hysteria that goes down during a disaster or a disaster scare. Is this it? I don't, I don't remember seeing this before. Is this, is this the thing? Have I been here? Oh no, maybe that's just the way, because this is that end. Okay, yeah, I'm a jabroni. Let's go. You hear faint growling in the distance. You don't say. That sounds like a job for Cloud and Company. But yeah, they seem to be like a lot of games. They kind of make it um, almost like a caricature. You know what I mean? They don't really want to show that. They want to keep you in like the fun and stuff and to show uh, you know people just like crying in the streets and like you know. Like, my life's over, I don't have a home anymore. And to, to really, the Marlene scene, man, really, like, it, I, I can't quite put my finger on it why it was so impactful to me, but the scene where they show Aerith take the time. It's a long scene, man. 
This is a longer scene than most, like, video game cutscenes. Like, money shot video game cuts, because, you know, story isn't as important in most games as Final Fantasy. But, like, very incredibly long scene dedicated to showing Aerith console the, like, traumatized Marlene, the, what's the word, the panic Mar Marlene, rather, uh, and to gain her trust. And we had established earlier in the story that Barrett has told her not to talk to strangers. It's, like, clearly mentioned. Um, so we have this scene with Aerith gaining her trust and uh, taking the time. Do you know what I mean? It wasn't just like, come out, I'm going to save you. Oh, okay, I'll save you. Like, no, man, a kid would be so scared out of their mind to a stranger, by the way, and, like, their home is burning. There's, like, screams and destruction and chaos like that. Like, and they took that time, man. I really want to watch that again. I've only seen it once during the stream. Um, they took that time to, like, voice that. And then the whole thing with the flower comes first. Full circle because for kids, like, smell is super important thing, smell is tied to your olfactory, is tied to your memory. That's why you're always like, you know, when you smell like your grandma's house and stuff, it's so, so, like if you smell an old article that was at your grandma's house, it like, teleports you back to being a kid. Um, so to include that about the smell and like, oh, you smell like our flower, which at first might seem a little far-fetched, but dude, th there are no flowers. There are no flowers in existence. They're all dead. So if you had a flower like that, it's like this cherished treasure. So she would absolutely like know that smell. Be able to distinguish it like that. Oh, you smell like our flower, and then she gains the trust more. Like, uh, so and again to have her like cry even when Aerith is consoling her and she's now hugging Aerith. Like it was just the attention to detail, man. Not just like okay, we're saved. It was in, it was very nice. It's very subtle, and something about that just. And again, from a writing standpoint, dude, really like, the flower. Somebody said this in my chat too. Who was it? The, somebody said this in my chat. They're like the flower has affected many people in the story cloud tifa Aerith, marlene it's just like this full circle thing it's, it's incredible writing it really is that scene was very good they used a very logical line of thought to write that scene yeah i agree dude it was also logical it wasn't like this you know like i said some short like oh okay you're gonna save me so i'm good like no dude that's not how a kid works like kids are unreasonable as hell it's like no i want my daddy though it's like Daddy's not here. I'm gonna, I'm gonna take care of you. And then the whole like, but, but is our home gonna go away? Yes. And then she just, yes, your home is gonna go away. But we're gonna get a new home. Don't you worry. Like, it is incredible, dude. It is so moving. Um, Cause like, and here's the other thing, dude. They didn't even have to include that scene. It's not in the original game. You just later see in like a chopper, like, oh, there is the chopper. Like, that's not even in the game. And the whole thing with Sung, it's just so, it's so cinematic, man. To have Sung then be like, see her on the ground, like, hmm, someone's getting too adventurous. Like, it was, it was very well crafted and choreographed. Because, like, literally, the back and forth. That, to me, is old school Final Fantasy. That's like Sakaguchi Final Fantasy. And, um, I love that dude. Yeah, you see what I'm saying. I like that after the plate fell, the only thing Barrett cares about is finding Marlin. Yep, totally. And then even that little touch, where I think this is in the original, we talked about this, where he says, like, please, I don't even care if you're lying. Just tell me she's there. And Cloud's like, I can't do that. I love that. Because most humans would say at that point, okay, I've been given impunity. Even if I'm wrong, he's not going to murder me. She's there, bud. Let's go see Marlene. But Cloud is not us. <laughs> he's just like, sorry, can't do that. Because I'm cold as hell. Like, really nicely done. BG says, I think it's a sign, honestly, uh, honestly, personally. Okay. He knows there's a chance that he could be wrong. Doesn't want to give Barrett a promise he can't keep. Yeah, that's actually a good point. Yeah. A sign of honesty. I'm sorry. Man, I can't read tonight. I'd be the same way. I can't promise something that I couldn't. Really. Yeah, I think I would. I would be the same way. You just you would like wanna console like from a place of compassion, whereas Cloud is just like, no, I can't confirm that. <laughs> you know? Even if you wouldn't say it. <laughs> so yeah, that scene was a standout. Definitely a standout. Um, just the, a lot of the little scenes are are winning for me in this game, and are some of the best told. Like uh, the one with uh, Marlene. I think I, I had to mention this to you, BG. The one with Marlene where you see her just like, is daddy coming home tonight? Dude, that one, something about that just got me. It was so good. To see the normal life stuff is what's, is what's so nice. And then the Elmira scene when she's just kind of like, I, I knew I'd have to lose my girl. Like, it's just, it's so well done. The little subtle things that they just don't have to include. They just be like, yeah, we're going to fight Jenner. Yeah, yeah, let's do this. And for me, it's the, it's the time they're taking. Like, the care they're taking with the characters that is so impressive. I don't think this thought is cold. Uh, he knows that if he tells Barrett, Marlene is safe. 
it's actually not a reverse. Yeah, that's a good point. Yeah, I like that line of thought, actually. Yeah, that also makes sense. Yes. The poses, dude. The poses of Cloud and Tifa. It's so sick. Oh, no, no, this was closed before. That's not good. That's not good. This is bad, bad territory. Big, mean things in here. That is a behemoth, baby! Isn't it? I mean, it's a behemoth. Ooh, so this is the behemoth in this game. Type 0 behemoth. So I bet there's going to be a normal one on the world map in part 2, but now we got the weird... Shinro on. Alright, I got a feeling it's gonna be tough, guys. Let's, uh. Ooh, the horn! So we gotta break the horn off so we get it. Let's do it. He hits real hard, but we're all alive right now. I like this track, too. It's the cool, uh. dope version from the. the sewers, I believe. Alright, so this is lower body susceptible to magic damage. Yeah, so it's just like. it's just straight up. Like, do anything you want to do it, but you're gonna have to do it in a certain order. Upper body is is there. I'm not gonna do fire in the hole, dude. It's almost dead. Let's save fire in the hole for his horn or something, right? So let's just like let's just shoot him. Overcharge his upper. Oh, damn! He's not damn! Damn! Oh, damn! It's so close. Okay, okay. His upper body's about to go down. Then we limit his horn or whatever. Uh, focus. No, 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 no. Yeah, focus shot on upper body. Get up, Barrett. Okay, okay. With Cloud, we heal Barrett. He's almost dead. And then Barrett limit on the horn. I think that's my strategy. Let's see, let's see, let's see. Is he down? 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 Oh, he has like two more health. Come on, come on. Triple him, triple him. Okay, horn, horn, horn! The horn! The horn! It's. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. No, 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 no. you gotta take out his horn! You gotta take out his horn! Alright, fire in the hole on the horn. Watch it not work. Watch it not work. Watch this do absolutely nothing. You ready? Oh, no, go for the horn! You fools! You fools, the horn is... Wow, limited only that much to it. That horn is no joke. Oh, dude, you used to do more. Maximum Fury, double ATB to that horn. I want damage. I want results. Oh, baby. Is that, is that almost half? Is that almost half? Tifa's got limit. Tifa's got limit. He's doing revitalized. Don't like the sound of that. In any world. Okay. Probably gonna do no damage. Somersault to his lower body. I'm not gonna risk it because it's gonna be no damage in it. Boom! Yeah. Yeah, man. This this battle system is just just fun. We're doing pretty good this time. Start out real bad. He's doing well. That's why Summon hasn't turned up. So wait, is Summon? Oh yeah. Why is there no Summon? Isn't that funny? Oh my god, we did it in one hit! Oh god, yeah. Now we're in business, now we're in business. Okay, this is cool. Dude, Cloud's Limit Break is actually busted. Oh, <gasps> it took out upper body and lower body. Oh yeah, yeah. horn. Horn! Horn! The time has come! Where's Tifa? Tifa, go for the horn. Wait, 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 why are you running around? What the? Oh no, he's going like final form or something. I don't like it, whatever he's doing. Dude, he has no health. I think he's dead. What? How are we gonna get the horn now? All right, Tifa, you gotta do steal. I think he's dead. Steal from the horn. No, steal from the behemoth. Dude, he's he's actually dead though. I don't understand. He has no health. What have I done? He's dead. We're doing three damage. Maximum fury to the horn. Please. Oh, he's dead, yeah. I screwed up. We got a behemoth horn! Oh, okay. Okay, we got the horn. I thought we had to break it to get it. So I was pretty much making that a lot harder than it was, but we got the horn. Iris is there as well. Yeah. And wait a second. Oh, wait a second. There's no going back to the slums now, guys, huh? There's no going out there. Not that there was much there, but... All right, so we've done we've done it. We've done the doctor thing. Let's go cash in and get our prize, our cash prize, which is probably not cash. Is why I'm always broke in this game. Oh yeah, let's go see the doctor. They even give me the prompt. I love it. All right, what do you got for me, son? Did you, oh, did you manage to get everything I needed? Thank you. You know, this ought to be more than enough. I can see why Aerith put her trust in you. Don't worry, 
I'll take it from here. You've done more than your fair share already. Here, take this. I'm betting it'll come in handy. That's what I got. A full restore from you for all that. Interesting. What have I done? Wait, didn't we take out the subterranean? Or do we just have to go talk to uh, this guy? The monsters have been cleared from the underground test site. Oh, cool, cool. Hey, we just got a report to Weimar. So that's that's that. And we have to talk to this guy, right? He's, he's uncovered a part of the stash. Oh, no. Fascinating. Use the key to collect the spent stash in various locations. I got you. I got you. So we have to find the other two. Okay, it could be in his mansion for all I know. Because I've never seen that graphic that they're showing right there. As far as I know. Um, okay, let's let's go teleport to Weimar. And then I think that just leaves the Tornio thing, which could be the main quest. Like, in his mansion. Not positive. So yeah, let's get that. Let's hop on the chocobo. Teleport. Let's go! Oh, thank you. That's one less big problem now. to worry about. We owe you. I know it's tough right now, but stay strong, you hear? You too, buddy. But hey, we're grounders. Yeah. We don't break easy. I know it's not much, but take Ooh. this. Ooh, okay, this is a good item. We got a, we got a Barrett weapon. So, the plan is, tomorrow, we're going to do Corneo's Secret Stash. We'll finish it, because it's already a bit done. And then, we're going we're gonna to do it. We're going to progress the main story. So, I think, I, think it's a good place to, I think it's a good place to cool it down and... Uh, prep for the main story but uh this has been lovely if you're still new and you're chilling by all means follow um we have a lot of fun going through the games like this uh also like preparing content for youtube as we kind of get a little deeper into the analysis and have cool conversations about stuff um if you have any suggestions pop in the discord let me know what works for you but thank you guys uh i'll see you around town